just five nights before WrestleMania weekend kicks off. You are looking live at San Antonio, Texas, moments away from entering the Frost Bank Arena for the final Monday Night Raw of the 2K23 season, as well as the final Raw before the grandest stage. And coming up here tonight in San Antonio, one half of the World Tag Team Champions, Finn Balor takes on Jey Uso. And ahead of this tag team matchup on WrestleMania Saturday, massive momentum hangs in the balance. And you want to look for momentum towards WrestleMania. Look no further than tonight's main event. It is champions versus challengers as the WWE Champion Seth Rollins alongside the Intercontinental Champion LA Knight take on their WrestleMania opponents, Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens, live tonight on Monday Night Raw. As we welcome you inside the Frost Bank Arena here in San Antonio, walking down the aisle in moments is one pissed off street champ ahead of an O holds barred at WrestleMania. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 250 pounds, Solo Sikoa. This Sunday night in AT&T Stadium, Solo Sokoa is set to lock horns with the almighty Bobby Lashley in a no-holds-barred match. These two men have been at each other's throats, not just over the last few weeks, but for months here on Monday Night Raw. But finally, the chaos will ensue from bell to bell live this Sunday in Dallas, Texas at WrestleMania. It all started back in October when Solo Sokoa tried to use Bobby Lashley as a stepping stone to earn himself WWE Championship contention. All these months later, Solo and Lashley have cost each other gold on numerous occasions, but only one man's going to be left standing on Sunday night. But Solo Sokoa first has got to get through the new day here tonight in San Antonio, Texas. And his opponent, accompanied by Xavier Woods, representing the New Day from Ghana, West Africa, weighing in at 212 pounds, Kofi Kingston. Well, Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods do not find themselves on the road to WrestleMania. However, they begin to look past. Kofi Kingston and Woods for months were challenging, or I should say thriving, to try to challenge for those World Tag Team titles. They got their shot back at the Royal Rumble in January. Unfortunately, did not go their way. Tonight, Kofi back in action on behalf of the New Day. And Solo Sokoa, who may be looking through Kofi Kingston and looking straight to WrestleMania, may find himself in a precarious situation. Kofi Kingston's got an opportunity to capitalize here tonight and bring some good mojo back to the New Day locker room as we approach a new season in just a few weeks. All remains to be seen what is going to happen. I'll tell you what, the audience, not only here in San Antonio, but the WWE locker room has just reached a fever pitch. Tensions are running at an all-time high on the road to WrestleMania as we are just five nights away from the kickoff to the grandest stage of them all. WrestleMania will, of course, be live Saturday night. This Saturday night, March the 2nd at 5 p.m. Eastern time. And then all roads lead to Sunday, just 24 hours later. March the 3rd, also live at 5 p.m. Eastern time. The best from Raw, the best from SmackDown, championships and glory all riding on the line this Sunday night in AT&T Stadium. Certainly a lot of action to come your way here tonight on Raw. You saw the champions versus challengers tag team match. That is a foot in your main event. And also still to come tonight, the WWE Women's Champion, the Eradicator, Rhea Ripley, ahead of her match with Liv Morgan on WrestleMania Saturday, is set to lock horns with the unholy Alba Fire later tonight here in San Antonio. 
WrestleMania momentum riding on the line. Nobody who is competing this weekend looking to take a loss ahead of what is no doubt the biggest match of their calendar year. Right now, Solo Sokoa doing a number on a former WWE champion in Kofi Kingston. And for Solo, not only tonight, but most importantly, this weekend at WrestleMania, it is put up or shut up time for Solo Sokoa. He tried to use Bobby Lashley back in the fall to earn himself a WWE Championship match. And I'll bite. Remember when Solo and Lashley met one on one Christmas night here on Monday Night Raw back in December? Solo was victorious. Solo earned himself a WWE Championship match alongside Lashley back at the Royal Rumble in January. The victor on that night was, of course, the almighty Bobby Lashley, or excuse me, the Seth freaking Rollins, the WWE Champion. I should say, Lashley was the one pinned on that night. I told you, the WrestleMania excitement is just at a fever pitch. Of course, that did not sit well with Solo Sokoa, and that isn't gonna sit well with Solo either. As we try to refocus here, Kofi Kingston sending Solo back inside the ring. And Solo Sokoa just trying to get his feet underneath him. And Kofi Kingston unloaded right now. Solo Sokoa's been extremely frustrated and highly motivated to put Bobby Lashley on the shelf for good. But Solo's focus may already be on WrestleMania Sunday. Kofi Kingston looking to take advantage here tonight. Of course, Kofi and Woods, as we mentioned, in contention for those tag team titles a few months back and unfortunately did not go their way. Neither did the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. Both the Judgment Day and the Usos will meet on WrestleMania Saturday for the World Tag Team Titles of Raw. And I'm sure the New Day would love to be waiting in the winds for whomever walks out of AT&T Stadium. And while Sol Sokoa turning the switch on this matchup, the street champ scaling the ropes, but Kofi Kingston back to his feet and knocking Solo out of an uncomfortable position. Gotta wonder the condition of Solo Sokoa. I mean, he has laid out Bobby Lashley and vice versa over the last few weeks. They have been at each other's necks, beating each other pillar to post, backstage, in the crowd, here at ringside. Lashley's banged up, Solo's banged up. A Kofi Kingston looking fresh as a daisy inside of that ring right now. Man, what a victory it could be for the former WWE Champion, a decorated superstar throughout his career. That being the New Day's Kofi Kingston as he sends Sol Sokoa to the corner. Look at the shots. Kofi Kingston unloading on the street champ. And Solo Sokoa knocked down the size. Kofi giving him a fight here tonight on Raw that I don't think Solo is ready for. We have seen Kofi majority in tag team action for the last few months alongside Xavier Woods, but Kofi ready and willing to step into some singles action here tonight. But Solo Sokoa, as we mentioned, highly motivated, has gotta be focused on victory tonight and not allow Kofi Kingston to derail his road to WrestleMania. Anything goes this Sunday, but Kofi Kingston looking to catch the street champ off guard, not just yet. Oh, man. Solo just exploding with that clothesline. I think Solo's had enough of trying to catch Kofi Kingston in this matchup. Kofi's been taking Solo wherever he wants. Ringside, inside, one corner to the next. And the street champ looking to institute a beatdown on behalf of his WrestleMania opponent. Solo looking to send a message to the almighty Bobby Lashley tonight. Letting Kofi be the proverbial puppet. Telling Lashley this will be you come this Sunday at AT&T Stadium. Just like that, Kofi Kingston's lights may have been turned off as Solo delivers a massive Samoan drop. Kofi Kingston down as Solo once more scales the ropes. Solo dropping an elbow right on the spine. Oh my goodness. The street champ is kicking it into a high gear right now. This is the wild Samoan that has ran over Bobby Lashley month in and month out. A Samoan spike. 
It is academic from here. Nobody gets up from that vicious spike. Kofi Kingston gave it a fight tonight, but Solo Sokoa is riding a wave of momentum right now that he is looking to sail in to WrestleMania on. Bobby Lashley's got to give it his best on Sunday, but I don't know if anybody can keep this man down. Here's your winner, Solo Sokoa. This Sunday night at WrestleMania, no disqualifications, no countouts, no holds barred between the street champ and the almighty. The issues between Solo and Bobby Lashley. Wait a minute! Lashley out of nowhere, a spear to Solo Sokoa. Well, we told you these two men have been at each other's throats week in, week out. And you gotta wonder the condition of Bobby Lashley after him and Braun Strowman broke the damn ring recently here on Monday Night Raw. Well, neither one of these men can be near 100%, but that's not gonna stop this fight from being instituted, whether it's this Sunday at WrestleMania or live and in living color in San Antonio. Lashley clearing off the announce table and Solo Sokoa trying to avoid disaster as he takes Lashley off his feet. This is of course not a match. This is just yet another brawl. Something we have become accustomed to between these two heavyweights. The bells will toll this Sunday at WrestleMania, but tonight it's about who is gonna get the edge. A Samoan spike to the almighty. Lashley may have struck why the iron was not hot. Why Solo Sokoa was ready and willing to fight. And Lashley may have walked in to a devastating plan by the street champ. Oh no. What the, what the hell is Solo doing? Lashley perched on the announce table. Solo scaling the ropes. You gotta be kidding me. Solo Sokoa with a Samoan splash through the announce table. And if we see those same events on Sunday night, it could spell the end of the almighty Bobby Lashley as we know it. No holds barred, something's gotta give this Sunday. We are back live in San Antonio, Texas as the road to WrestleMania continues. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring, accompanied by Jimmy Uso, representing the Usos from San Francisco, California, weighing in at 242 pounds. Main event, Jay. Let us take you back to last week here on Raw. Jimmy Uso, one-on-one -on -one with the Street Profits, Montez Ford, and a looming issue between these two teams led to Jimmy getting the victory. But it was after the bell that the Judgment Day assaulted their opponents for WrestleMania Saturday with a pair of steel chairs. Finn Balor and Damian Priest, the two-time World Tag Team Champions, as voted by you, the fans, the 2023 Tag Team of the Year. And those two men were looking for the upper hand on the road to WrestleMania last week, laying out the Usos seven nights ago. But tonight, a WrestleMania preview in the form of a one-on-one -on -one matchup. The Usos have never stepped foot inside that squared circle with the Judgment Day between the bells, but tonight we get a preview of WrestleMania Saturday. As Jey Uso locks horns with one half of the World Tag Team Champions, the Prince, Finn Balor. And his opponent, accompanied by Damian Priest, representing the Judgment Day from Bray, 
County, Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 190 pounds, one half of the World Tag Team Champions, Finn. It is coming your way live at 5 p.m. Eastern Time this Saturday night. The Judgment Day defend the World Tag Team Championship against Raw's Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic winners, Jay and Jimmy, the Usos. These two teams meet for the first time ever at the grandest stage of them all. The Judgment Day have turned away some of the best that Monday Night Raw and the, whole, the entire WWE has to offer. Within their two tag team championship reigns, they have turned away the OC, Mustafa Ali and Ricochet, the Brawling Brutes, the New Day. Line them up, they have knocked them over. Just a handful of names that Priest and Balor have turned away over the better part of the last year. But will they be able to turn away the Usos when they lock for the first time ever this Saturday night? All remains to be seen, but tonight Jey Uso looking to get a measure of revenge for that assault with the steel chairs last week and also keep the Uso's momentum riding at a high on the road to AT&T Stadium. The Uso's of course, of course returned the first round of the Dusty Road Tag Team Classic, turned away the New Day, were able to defeat pretty deadly Elton Prince and Kit Wilson and then of course defeated the Street Profits in the finals of said tournament. We've also seen them defeat the team of Cameron Grimes and Cedric Alexander here on Raw, and then Jimmy Uso with that singles victory over Montez Ford last week. The Usos with a perfect record if we're just looking at the sheet since their Monday Night Raw return, but of course last week did not end how they would have liked. The Judgment Day got the last laugh, and that is something we have become accustomed to with Damian Priest and Finn Balor. Either way, those two men have gotten their way ever since forming the Judgment Day almost one year ago. And two reigns with the World Tag Team Championships later. You cannot argue with the actions of the Prince and the Archer of Infamy as Finn Balor shooting himself like an arrow over the top rope. Jey Uso and Jimmy Uso willing to take things to the sky, but so are one of their tag team partners. I should say one of their tag team opponents. Finn Balor sending Jey Uso from pillar to post on the outside of the ring. You know, one thing we talked about in recent memory as well is the Uso's not afraid to break things down into a brawl if need be. Neither are Balor and Priest. Whatever the Uso's can do, Balor and Priest are looking to beat him at it. Jay and Jimmy known as one of the greatest tag teams of all time and they are looking for new championship gold. New competition is what they came back for, and they have been getting it over the last number of weeks. They run into the Judgment Day at WrestleMania, and I'm sure Finn Balor and Damian Priest are gonna give them the fight of their lives. Jay into the cover. Nonchalant that time, and I don't think he would've got the pinfall anyway. Early on in this contest. When we talk about some of the victories of the Judgment Day, of course, their second reign with the tag team titles kicked off in a Tornado tag team matchup against the Brawling Brutes back at Armageddon in December. Retained those gold, retained that gold, excuse me, on the final Monday Night Raw of 2023 in a ladder match against the Brawling Brutes. Hell of a tag team matchup back at the Royal Rumble against the New Day as well. And now Finn Balor and Damian Priest just looking to keep their momentum strong. Talking about some of the recent wins of the Usos, the Judgment Day turned away Brutus and Julius, the Creed brothers, a few weeks back. These two teams had an even playing field. Tonight may give one the edge, but it is a whole different ball game on Saturday night when all four men are competing in between those ropes and the gold is on the line at the grandest stage. Finn Balor beating down on Jay right now, letting that offense stack up. Scale in the middle buckle as Jey Uso weary to get to his feet. Comes Balor with a missile drop kick heard round San Antonio. Into the cover, Jey Uso still alive. You know, the interesting thing about this matchup is a first-hand experience, a scouting report, if you will, before we get to WrestleMania, putting together the blueprint early. And Balor may have figured out the equation to keep down Jey Uso, but Jey getting the shoulder up again. 
And Finn Balor starting to get frustrated. And he cannot allow that, especially this Saturday at WrestleMania. Got to keep your head on your shoulders. And the Judgment Day, as great as they have been over the better part of the last year, need to realize that they are in there with one of the best tag teams to ever do it. Usos stepped away from the squared circle over two years ago because they felt they have done it all and they have beat them all. But a whole new crop of talent has risen across Raw and SmackDown and even NXT in recent years. Balor and Priest at the top of that list. Jay and Jimmy won another crack at championship gold and it comes their way this Saturday. Will it be successful? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Jey Uso off the Samoan drop, going for the pinfall, but Damian Priest barking at the referee. The Judgment Day not afraid to get their hands dirty if it means victory. Finn Balor able to survive a momentum, or I should say a maneuver, that may not have gone his way, thanks to the help of the Archer of Infamy. Nonetheless, even playing field on Saturday night. Jey Uso's just got to keep stacking up this offense and hope to get out of San Antonio unscathed. Another Samoan drop that time. Jimmy was successful in his one-on-one -on -one match last week. Will Jay see the same result? Going for an Uso splash to no avail. Nobody home. Crash and burn for main event Jey Uso. Meanwhile, Finn Balor scales the ropes. And he delivers with a coup de grace. Into the cover, Jey Uso, down and out, but still alive. And this matchup with heavy WrestleMania implications rolls on here on Monday Night Raw. It is the final Monday Night Raw of the 2000, or I should say the 2K23 season, the final Raw before WrestleMania. Tensions running at an all-time high. Jay and Balor dishing it back and forth. All before the World Tag Team titles hang in the balance this Saturday night, live at 5 p.m. Eastern Time at AT&T Stadium. Balor sending Jay back into the corner. Jay took a moment of hesitation to try to relax, a little R&R, &R, trying to get back into this matchup, but Finn Balor not looking to see his good work go to waste. Once again, dropping the elbow. Jey Uso might have survived the coup de grace, but is certainly not in a good position right now to succeed in this matchup as Finn Balor again. Balor just stacking up the offense. And you notice he's going to the rib cage, he's going to the skull, he's going to the arms. Balor trying to pick apart main event Jey Uso here on Raw. Jey Uso and Jimmy. A lot more accustomed to those tag team matches. Trying to get used to not tagging in, of course, here tonight. Jay's got to go this alone. And Jay on spaghetti legs on the outside, and Finn Balor delivers the high risk maneuver that he so desired, coming crashing down on main event Jay Uso. Balor is all over one half of the number one contenders, and we may be one step closer to another Judgment Day victory. Well, maybe we spoke too soon. Jey Uso delivering a boot to the jaw and a double drop kick. It is now or never for Jey Uso to get back into this matchup, and he knows that. The Uso's very experienced in high profile situations. Here comes Jay delivering a big time spin out maneuver. And now it's Jey Uso turning the tables on Finn with the stacked offense, and it's Damian Priest who once again is on the apron. You know, if I'm Jey Uso, I'm smacking Damian, Damian Priest right across the jawline. And wait a minute, Finn Balor from behind. And he almost stole the victory there. Not to be. Almost turning away the momentum of the Usos, but Jey Uso's heart is still pumping. And after all the work that the Usos have put in since their Monday Night Raw return back in January, they are not looking to see their momentum come to a screeching halt before the show of shows. The Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic and every victory since, Jey Uso wants one more. Uso splash! Finn Balor down and out. 
Main event, Jey Uso, proving why the Usos are the deserving number one contenders. Finn Balor and Damian Priest tried to stack the deck against one half of the number one contenders tonight. But it was not to be, as Jey Uso alongside his brother Jimmy are on top of the world. Here's your winner, main event, Jey Uso. Those two men may be undeniable. This Saturday night, the Usos meet the Judgment Day for the World Tag Team Gold. As one season comes to an end, a whole new one begins to blossom. And we kick off a new season with the best of the best from Monday Night Raw and Friday Night SmackDown live and in action. It all begins on Monday, March 11th, as Raw comes your way live from Madison Square Garden in New York City. And then SmackDown heads to the Wells Fargo Center in Philadelphia. An all-new season in the WWE is coming your way, and you haven't seen anything yet. But before a new season begins, we have WrestleMania this weekend, where this woman, the Eradicator, the Nightmare, Rhea Ripley, will defend her WWE Women's Championship against the number one contender Liv Morgan in a rematch from the Royal Rumble back in January. And accompanied by Dominic Mysterio representing the Judgment Day from Adelaide, Australia, the WWE Women's Champion, Rhea Ripley. Rhea Ripley has held the WWE Women's Championship since September. She was the 2023 Women's Superstar of the Year, cashing in her Money in the Bank briefcase to win the gold, and she has defended it all the way through ever since. She owns victories over Shayna Baszler, Becky Lynch, her opponent here tonight, Alba Fire, Zia Lee, Mi Chin, Asuka, Liv Morgan, the list goes on. Rhea Ripley is on top of the world. But Liv Morgan and the events of the Royal Rumble, those are not going to be the lasting oppressions according to the number one contender. Liv not looking to be a stepping stone in Rhea Ripley's legacy, and she's got one opportunity to turn it all around, and that comes live this Saturday at WrestleMania. But tonight, Rhea Ripley needs to remain focused on the task at hand, and as the unholy Alba Fire, who is looking for a breakout performance here on Monday Night Raw. Alba Fire, of course, made her Monday Night Raw debut back in November and was immediately confronted by the WWE Women's Champion, Rhea Ripley. She wanted a taste of the new competition. Rhea took on Alba Fire back at Armageddon in December, was successful retaining her championship gold. Now Rhea's just looking to get through Alba one more time on the road to WrestleMania. It's similar to what we talked about at the top of the hour at Solo Sokoa, Rhea cannot look through Alba Fire. She'll be already focusing on Liv Morgan on Saturday night. Because if she does, she will make a mistake. And if Alba Fire's lucky, she'll be able to capitalize on it and pick up a huge victory over the WWE Women's Champion here tonight. Of course, a victory over the Nightmare, easier said than done. We have seen Rhea Ripley add to her already impressive, dominating arsenal, especially back at the Elimination Chamber when she took on the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka. Rhea Ripley as dangerous as ever, as more dominant as ever. We already told you the Women's Money in the Bank briefcase holder last year cashed it in successfully less than two months later. He's had a stranglehold on that gold ever since. Remember the events of the Royal Rumble. Rhea Ripley possibly her most dominating performance yet. Defeating Liv Morgan to retain her title in a matchup that Liv Morgan has been thinking about, has been replaying in her mind ever since Sunday night, January the 7th. 
Liv Morgan scratched and clawed for another opportunity. She made her way to the five-woman elimination matchup a number of weeks ago to earn her number one contendership. And now Liv's got one more crack to take down the Eradicator on Saturday night. But that is easier said than done with Rhea Ripley. Meanwhile, Alba Fire just trying to give this match her fight right now. And I'll say, she's doing damn well. Nice moonsault off the middle buckle. Not even a one count. Rhea Ripley, that might have just fired up the champion as Alba Fire once more at the springboard. And this is what Fire's got to do. Former women's tag team champion down in NXT. Former NXT United Kingdom champion. Alba Fire knows what it's like to hold gold. And she knows what it's like to be in the ring with Rhea Ripley. And that is once again finding out firsthand what it's like to be competing with the Eradicator. Sent right into the barricade. Alba was building momentum, bringing the fire, if you will. Rhea Ripley put it out real quick. Alba fire on spaghetti legs, and Rhea Ripley might have just turned her lights off for good. Back inside the ring we go as Rhea Ripley looks to make an example out of Alba Fire ahead of WrestleMania. Wait a minute. Alba Fire still's got some fight, but Rhea Ripley just cannot allow that tonight. WWE Women's Champion Dominic Mysterio in her corner, who has recently joined the ranks of the Judgment Day. A deadly duo, a deadly unit here on Monday Night Raw. Rhea squashing Alba in the corner. And Rhea Ripley just oh so dominant. Nobody has been able to figure her out here on Monday Night Raw. Told you the names that she has defeated. Goes through Asuka, goes through Becky Lynch, not once but twice. Alba Fire herself. Mi Chin, Zia Lee, Shayna Baszler. Line them up. Rhea Ripley has knocked them all over. Alba Fire, look at this, not looking to be. The same as Liv Morgan, a stepping stone for Rhea Ripley's championship legacy. Oh man, she just got caught with that knee and caught with a massive boot to the jaw. Alba rolling out of the ring, most likely off adrenaline, and Rhea Ripley immediately bringing her back inside the squared circle. Man, Rhea could have gone for a cover a couple of times at this point, but the WWE Women's Champion is just looking to make a statement on Alba Fire's behalf. We are live here in the Frostbank Center, San Antonio, Texas, five nights before WrestleMania weekend. Tensions are riding at an all-time high here on Monday Night Raw as Alba Fire gets dumped right on the back of her neck. Ripley is just not letting up. Rhea is enjoying the fruits of her labor. At some point, Alba Fire just got to throw in the towel, but I mean, Rhea Ripley is just having her away with her opponent here tonight. Absolutely no remorse from the Eradicator Rhea Ripley. Rhea Riptide. It's over. Thanks for coming, Alba Fire, but nobody can hold a candle to Rhea Ripley right now. Wow. Rhea Ripley said, I'm going to come to San Antonio. I'm going to remind Liv Morgan of the dominance I am capable of. And she did just that here tonight. Here is your winner, Rhea Ripley. The 2023 Women's Superstar of the Year. WWE Women's Champion month in and month out since September. And wait a minute. Alba Fire on the outside. This match is over, but Rhea Ripley's not done. Sending a statement to Liv Morgan. A second Riptide now at ringside. Rhea Ripley throwing her weight around here on Monday Night Raw. Absolutely ridiculous. Nonetheless, the result. Oh, wait a minute. Well, here comes the number one contender. Liv Morgan said, I saw what you did, and I am not afraid. I am not intimidated. Rhea Ripley, as dominant as she is, does she have the heart and the desire to be women's champion like Liv Morgan does? We will find out 
this Saturday night at WrestleMania. It is WrestleMania weekend, and it approaches this Saturday and this Sunday night at 5 p.m. Eastern time. It is double live premiere event from AT&T Stadium for the grandest stage of them all. And let's take a look at what's going down on Saturday night. From SmackDown, the Cruiserweight Championship is on the line as Ilya Dragunov defends against Nathan Frazier, Wesley, Johnny Gargano, JD McDonough, and Axiom in a six-man ladder war for the Cruiserweight Championship of the World. Coming your way from Monday Night Raw, the World Tag Team titles are at stake as the 2024 Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic winners, Jay and Jimmy, the Usos, take on Finn Balor and Damian Priest of the Judgment Day for the first time ever. Sami Zayn made his way to the finals of the Eliminator, and we will see him in action, trying to gain some last minute momentum in moment in your main event, but it all leads to this Sunday, one more opportunity against the Defiant LA Knight for the Inner Continental Championship. It is the self-proclaimed King of Strong Style, Shinsuke Nakamura, taking on the self-proclaimed King of Pro Wrestling in CM Punk. Only one man can be known as the best in the world. Who will it be? We find out on Saturday night. The Rated R Superstar Edge is looking to teach Braun Breaker a lesson in respect. Braun Breaker is looking to finally achieve a big time victory in a high profile match since his SmackDown debut last year. Who gets their wish this Saturday at WrestleMania? Liv Morgan refuses to be a stepping stone in the legacy of the Nightmare Rhea Ripley. She earned herself number one contendership and now she runs it back with the Eradicator for the WWE Women's Championship. For 267 days, Drew McIntyre held the World Heavyweight Championship. It all came crashing down back at Survivor Series by hands of the Ring General Gunther. McIntyre won the Elimination Chamber. He earned himself this long-awaited rematch. The match that was voted the 2023 Match of the Year sees its second battle this Saturday in the main event of WrestleMania. And what about coming your way on Sunday, March the 3rd? It is the Brawling Brutes taking on the Harbinger of Doom, Karrion Cross, the Sinister Joe Gacy, and Baron Corbin in a six-man tag team matchup. Fist of cuffs are going to be flying when the bell sounds. The future of flight ricochet continues to climb the ranks of Friday Night SmackDown, but will his wave of momentum ride him into WrestleMania and be enough to dethrone AJ Styles for the United States Championship. We saw what happened earlier tonight on Raw. Solo Sokoa getting the last laugh against Bobby Lashley, but it all comes to a head. Something's got to give this Sunday and no disqualifications, no countouts, absolutely no holds barred. The American Nightmare Cody Rhodes missed an opportunity to main event WrestleMania thanks to the Apex Predator, Randy Orton. This Sunday, he gets a chance at retribution. The legacy lives on. Cody Rhodes, Randy Orton, one-on-one -on -one at the show of shows. From Friday Night SmackDown, brand new WWE Tag Team Champions will be crowned and the winners of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic Finals will be determined as Austin Theory and Grayson Waller take on Santos Escobar and Rey Mysterio of the LWO. Raquel Rodriguez winning the Elimination Chamber matchup and finally gets a one-on-one -on -one opportunity at the Women's World Championship. Shayna Baszler choked her out in Madison Square Garden back in November to win the gold. Raquel has not forgotten. Raquel looking to write a different story. And in the main event, 
on WrestleMania Sunday, the 2024 Royal Rumble match winner, the prize fighter, Kevin Owens, takes on the visionary, the revolutionary, Seth freaking Rollins for the most prestigious prize in the business today, the WWE Championship. It all comes your way live Saturday, March the 2nd and Sunday, March the 3rd at 5 p.m. Eastern time. WrestleMania weekend approaches this Saturday and Sunday at AT&T Stadium. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 478 pounds, Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. Well, there is still one more bell to sound on the final Monday Night Raw before WrestleMania. And it is two men who have been the centerfold of the red brand over the last year plus. The KO and Sami show. We're once looking for a hostile takeover. We're knocked back down to the bottom and scratched and clawed their way back to the top, respectively earning number one contenderships and look to win it all this weekend in Dallas, Texas. And their opponents, first from Hagerstown, Maryland, weighing in at 230 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, L.A. Knight. That Intercontinental Championship around the waist of the Defiant Megastar, L.A. Knight, has just become a custom here on Monday Night Raw, winning the gold last July against SmackDown's Ilya Dragunov. L.A. Knight has turned away Cedric Alexander, Ilya Dragunov, Cameron Grimes, Shinsuke Nakamura, even Sami Zayn back on Halloween night. Sami Zayn has not forgotten, and ever since October the 31st, he has been working his way back to number one contendership, which he earned over nine nights ago at Saturday night's main event. Sami Zayn's got his own bone to pick with LA Knight on WrestleMania Saturday. But for the second consecutive year, the visionary, the revolutionary, Seth freaking Rollins waltz into the main event of the grandest stage of the ball, holding championship goal. And from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, the WWE Champion, Seth Freakin' Rollins! Seth Rollins holding the WWE Championship since last August at SummerSlam where he won the gold by cashing in Money in the Bank. And one thing that has really surrounded Rollins' championship reign is that he has always found a way to win. Whether he was fighting monsters in Braun Strowman, whether it was a triple threat at the Royal Rumble, Hell in a Cell at Armageddon, last man standing at Clash of the Castle, defending the title in a marquee matchup in Madison Square Garden. Rollins has seen almost all of it in his championship reign since August. And Rollins has found a way to walk out on the other side ever since. Will it be the same result? this Sunday in AT&T Stadium. But here we go, it is champions versus challengers in this tag team main event here on Monday Night Raw. And you see the champions trying to get things done early as LA Knight and Sami Zayn feeling each other out inside that squared circle for the first time since October the 30, 31st, 2023. I'll tell you what, man, tensions have been riding high all week long here on Monday Night Raw. And back in that locker room, the audience is at a fever pitch. San Antonio, Texas has been rocking all night long. We are just five days away from WrestleMania weekend kicking off. Do not miss a second of the action live at 5 p.m. Eastern time on Saturday night, this Saturday, March the 2nd. And then it continues 24 hours later, Sunday night, March the 3rd, also at 5 p.m. Eastern time. 
we begin to kick off a new season, March 11th, here on Monday Night Raw, when we head back to Madison Square Garden. Who is going to be the faces of the red brand as the respective champions? And here we go, Sami Zayn making the tag as Kevin Owens and Seth Rollins seeing some action once more ahead of their singles contest on WrestleMania Sunday. And a combination right out of the gate. Kevin Owens, of course, with a little bit more momentum on his side over Saturday night's main event. Just a few weeks ago, Kevin Owens alongside CM Punk. Taking on Shinsuke Nakamura and Seth Rollins. And even though Rollins might not have taken the pin on that night, Kevin Owens and CM Punk were the victors. I am sure Rollins has felt a disdain that much more for Kevin Owens ever since. Of course, the last time we saw these two men previous to that tag team matchup, Rollins laid out Kevin Owens with a curb stomp here on Monday Night Raw, sending an emphatic message on the road to WrestleMania. Rollins does not care who you are, what you've done, where you've been. Rollins so confident in himself that he will find a way. If there's a will, there's a way in the mind of the visionary to retain his WWE Championship. He does not care about Kevin Owens' story, about starting back from the bottom here on Monday Night Raw last fall, beating some of the best of them, whether it be Kerry and Cross or Solo Sokoa, winning the Royal Rumble matchup. Kevin Owens has done everything he can to earn his number one contendership. Rollins does not give a damn, or at least he is putting on a good poker face, acting like he doesn't. All remains to be seen. It all comes down to WrestleMania this weekend, and of course tonight here on Monday Night Raw, the chance to build some last minute momentum. LA Knight and Seth Rollins, they have held some lengthy championship reigns here on the red brand. This is the KO and Sami show who are looking to play spoiler at WrestleMania. Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn, you know, one year ago at WrestleMania, they walked in on the grandest stage, teamed up alongside each other, picked up a huge victory over the phenomenal AJ Styles and the Rated R Superstar Edge in tag team action. One year later, a lot has changed for Owens and Zayn, but as the old saying goes, the more that changes, the more it stays the same. And KO and Sami might be fighting their own respective battles this weekend. But tonight, once more, standing side by side. Neither one of those men looking to be the detriment to the other's momentum. LA Knight and Seth Rollins, I'll bet a little bit more selfish, only care about themselves and their championship gold. But nonetheless, do not want to see losses on the road to WrestleMania, and therefore, Gonna have to work like a well-oiled machine to the best of their abilities. There's a tag made once more to the number one contender for the Intercontinental Championship, Sami Zayn. Sami, of course, outlasting the Intercontinental Championship Eliminator. Taking on Carmelo Hayes in the first round. Wait a minute, LA Knight rolling up Sami. Imagine what this would do to the confidence of Zayn ahead of WrestleMania if he's pinned by his opponent. Did not happen right there, but it almost could have. And now Zayn coming up from behind. Dishing some action right back to the Intercontinental Champion. And on the reverse side, imagine what it could do for a confidence boost for Sami Zayn if he can pin the Intercontinental Champion here tonight. As we were mentioning, Sami Zayn defeated Carmelo Hayes in the first round of the Intercontinental Championship Eliminator. I'll bite. Melo had his hand on the ropes. It went undiscovered by the referee, and Melo's been very vocal about that in the WWE locker room. We'll see what he's got to say after WrestleMania this weekend, but Sami, of course, picked up the victory nonetheless and then picked up an extremely hard-fought victory back at Saturday night's main event over Tommaso Ciampa. Zayn even resorting to soaring through the skies and putting Tommaso Ciampa through the announce table. The same he did to LA Knight back on Halloween night in his attempt to win the Intercontinental Championship. And Sammy has literally thrown, had literally thrown everything we thought he had in his arsenal at the Megastar back on October 31st and it did not go the way of Sami Zayn. Zayn's gonna hope that he has a new trick up his sleeve and LA Knight Hasn't gotten any better, but that is easier said than done. Knight has retained his championship for a reason. You might not like the arrogance. You might not like the confidence of the mega star, but the results are the results, and he is the Intercontinental Champion for a reason. 
Same can be said about your WWE Champion Seth freaking Rollins. Who gets caught up in the wind with a tornado DDT by Kevin Owens. Into the cover and Rollins with an early kick out. Kevin Owens is going to have to give his best on Sunday night. We know that for damn sure. Owens will not stop fighting till he hears a bell, and that is the mentality he is going to have to carry into WrestleMania as Seth Rollins delivers a sweet chin music, San Antonio Shawn Michaels style. And now Rollins right into the pedigree. Might as well tell Kevin Owens to suck it while he's at it. And he almost had him, almost had the victory over his WrestleMania opponent, but not just yet. The WWE Champion looking to completely derail Kevin Owens' WrestleMania plans. However, the prize fighter, as we just got done mentioning, will not stop swinging until he hears a bell. And that is the mentality that he needs to bring in to Dallas, Texas on Sunday night. Seth Rollins. Same can be said as we said about LA Knight. Beating some of the best of them. Finding a way to win. Even when his back is against the wall and the odds are stacked against the champion. Meanwhile, Sami Zayn could be looking to go back to those NXT roots. Soaring through the ring post in a tornado of his own. Sami Zayn dishing it out to the WWE Champion here tonight. The visionary, the revolutionary, whatever nickname you want to say, he may have his bell rung, and Seth Rollins, as well as the Intercontinental Champion, may be in trouble. Sammy into the cover, going for the victory here tonight in San Antonio, not just yet. Rollins with the shoulder up, and Sami Zayn one step closer to victory, but Rollins survived. The WWE Champion with the gold around his waist for a reason. Kicking out of one of Sami Zayn's best maneuvers. And now tags in the Intercontinental Champion. And now the Champion is looking to work like a well-oiled machine. LA Knight, the legal man, looking to put the exclamation point on this matchup. And the burning hammer dead center of the ring might as well lead us to WrestleMania, into the cover, but somehow Sami Zayn with the shoulder up. Frustration kicking in for the Intercontinental Champion. Something that he cannot allow to rear its ugly head on Saturday when he meets Sami Zayn one on one. Oh my goodness, LA Knight just unloading on the number one contender. Going for the Huluva kick, nobody home. Could have turned LA Knight's lights off, but a blood force trauma may have done the reverse. Oh, and Kevin Owens breaking things up at the last second. LA Knight had this matchup. He had Sami Zayn beat, but the KO and Sami show as close as they could possibly be. Kevin Owens saving the day on this main event tag team affair here in the final Monday Night Raw of the 2K23 season. The final Monday Night Raw before WrestleMania. And four of the men who have been the pillars of the red brand over the last year taking center stage in your main event. It is champions versus challengers. Kevin Owens getting tagged in. Some fresh legs, a kick, a stutter to the Intercontinental Champion. Into the cover. Seth Rollins putting the brakes on. He said he had enough. Rollins said, I'll wait till Sunday. Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn victorious in their pursuit of championship gold this weekend at WrestleMania. LA Knight, when he wakes up from that stunner, is not going to be happy that Rollins didn't come to the aid. Rollins saving his stamina when the gold's on the line. Here are your winners, Kevin Owens. All roads lead to WrestleMania, live at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, this Saturday and this Sunday night, where Sami Zayn challenges LA Knight for the Intercontinental Championship and the Royal Rumble match winner 
Kevin Owens challenges Seth freaking Rollins for the WWE title. Thank you for joining us here in San Antonio, and we will see you this weekend at WrestleMania! Chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise, you can hate on that. I don't play both sides, doing me no cap. I'm a rock.